trying to get the pause right so we can edit it. So, <laughs> um, so we are Laura and Deirdre from All and Ant magazine. Mm -hmm. It is a magazine. We yes. forget to say that. I know, actually, that's true. We just say All and Ant, and yeah. as if people will know. Yeah. Um, so it's an online magazine, a fibre and craft magazine, um, with an Irish, with an Irish lilt. Yeah. Is the best way to put it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's available at www.allanand.e and it's quarterly um, magazine. So the next issue is going to be our winter issue and it's going to be out in the beginning of December. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I think we're... We're really organised. We're kind of scarily organised, <laughs> which, which leads us to believe that maybe we're, we're missing something. But let's, let's, let's just say for now we seem to be on top of things, which is... You know what will happen? We'll like think it. that we're so organised that we... We'll leave things to the last minute, yeah. and then it will be just like, <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God, yeah. But um, so the current issues is there at the moment, and that's um, that was our rainbow issue, rainbow color issue. So it was all nicely, nice, um, bright colors. Um, and I, I guess so. We we're all over social media, um, as all in and, and then individually. But as all in and, we're on Twitter as um, forward slash all in and. And then Instagram, we are All and Land Magazine. Oh, yeah. um, Facebook, we're All and Land. Mm -hmm. And we have our own Ravelry group as well, mm -hmm. um, which has quite a lot of chatter, doesn't it? We've yeah, got a couple, yeah, of, yeah. couple of knit alongs going on. We're going to talk about one of those in a minute. We've got our knocker along, which mm -hmm. um, you probably kind of failed to have noticed our knockers somewhere on the internet at this stage yeah. or someone speaking about them or something because. We've had some really, really great support, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, big time. Um, yeah. So, um, and just trying to put it out there and get the, get the the people that are well known in the knitting community to kind of plug it. It's get an international it. campaign. Yeah. yeah. Um, and for us, we know we know that um, men suffer. Men can also have breast cancer. But for us, we're women. Mm -hmm. We're two women doing a, an online magazine in a in a, um, a craft that is predominantly done by women mm -hmm. so we just kind of think it it sits quite well doesn't yeah, it? A knitted I think, knocker I campaign. Think so, yeah I actually have people keep giving me knitted knockers or sending me knitted knockers which is quite funny mm -hmm. um, so I've actually built up quite a collection that I left to pass on nice. soon <laughs> yeah a lot of knockers and it, like that's yeah I suppose because we, we had our well we won't go on about this now because we, we're going to put a blog up on Wednesday but we did have our knocker long event last week and we were given more knockers and that was really cool actually yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah um, and we also have a YouTube channel obviously that's oh, where yeah. you're looking at this yeah. and we're um, we're on Pinterest and we actually have a good few followers on Pinterest oh, we've maybe but we're terrible to so we really need more. to uh, we said I think we said this last year as well New Year's resolution but maybe we do need to we kind of need to just get our... I, I think the problem is we don't really know what to do on Pinterest or no, how to do it. Because it's more like a search, isn't it? It's, it's more like a, a Google search thing, yeah. kind of thing. So we'll get our heads around that eventually and then we'll we'll um, hopefully get something sorted. Um, but then individually we're, we're on social media as well. So um, I'm on Instagram as Deirdre McCardell. I'm on uh, Ravelry as Donna Diamond. And I am... Left Foot Daisy everywhere, so I'm Left Foot Daisy on Instagram, Left Foot Daisy on Ravelry, and I have my own blog, which um, is actually called um, Confessions of a Fibre Strumpet, mm -hmm. Left Foot Daisy Confessions of a Fibre Strumpet, and um, the URL is Left Foot, oh, it's fibrestrumpet.com, isn't it? I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I managed to do that, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, we, I suppose normally what we do is um, we, the... The podcast is if you're first if this is your first time coming to see us hello oh. <laughs> so and if you're a returning visitor thank you so much yeah, thank you <laughs> we've actually had quite a few new subscribers hello actually which is great um so the word must be getting out and uh so that's really nice so um yeah thank, yeah, you. thank you and hopefully you enjoy um you know we kind of tend to have the same format uh each issue our episode um so we kind of show some of our tadas um, we look at uh, a little bit more in depth at some of the designs that we've um, put in the magazine. We look at our Olanan love sections um, um, where we have little bits and pieces that we found that make nice little gifts. We do our own um, It'll Be Lovely When It's Finished, which is our whips. Um, and we do We Had to Have It's, that's what we call our, our uh, what would you say? Our purchases, our yeah, stashing hearts. Yeah. And, um, and we haven't had any naughty little bubbles for a long time now, I which know. is our, our UFOs. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know if that... any of those for a while. I mean, 
that doesn't mean to say that we don't have them. <laughs> no, I just think I've just kind of done. forgotten about it. Yeah, or maybe they're they're hidden so far in in our wardrobes that we can't find them anymore. Um, so yeah, um, actually, yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, we need to kind of yeah. Kind and of sometimes we do the room. books and stuff like that, don't we? It yeah, just, some reviews. Yeah, it depends, it depends how many episodes we get filmed yeah. before the next issue comes yeah. out. I think more than anything, that's doesn't true. it? Yeah. So. So I suppose what we'd like to, to do is, um, as we mentioned, we have a knit along that's running and it actually finishes on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It's for our Sunshine and Sprinkles um, cowl. Mm -hmm. um, so I might actually put a picture here now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there we go, there's a picture. <laughs> Um, so these, oh, yeah. we did actually do, I'll give you this because oh, that's yeah. your <laughs> We did actually do a live Instagram video, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. So yeah. um, so we have had something about it yeah. before the knit along, but we realised that we hadn't actually done it on the podcast. Yeah. So it's a it's a cute little design, quick and easy, colour work design from Maria Grandfeld. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And so it's made with, uh, well, we made these ones with the Debbie Bliss, didn't we? Baby yeah, Cash Merino. So as you can see it's nice it's a nice little colour work. Nice little simple colour work project. It's good for an intro, you know, if you're kinda of starting out and you're kinda of getting to grips with pulling the colours along. Yeah. Um really pretty. Yeah. Helps um, if I don't show you the bit where it joins. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there we go. So yeah, it's lovely lovely little and it's such a, a speedy knit. Like it knits up. Yeah. It, it would only take you for a few hours. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, confession time, this one is slightly off gauge. It's slightly bigger than than the gauge that Maria recommended. This one is two gauge. So um, so this one, for me, there are only three small things on my body. My hands, my feet and my neck. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are huge. Um, and this one is too big on my neck. Okay. It just sits down really, yeah, really low yeah. on my neck. Yeah. So, um, so... We we did to to join in with the knit along. We we joined we joined in with the knit along. I need to change, change yeah. my teeth. Um, good luck with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what I did was I my version, which is finished. The ends were sewn in this morning. Yeah, Ever I love ready. it. I, well, at least you did sew them in. <laughs> so so mine is oh, yeah. quite a bit smaller. So and then you yours is the same size. Yeah, isn't mine it? is the same size. So, do you want to compare uh, yours? To yeah. It? I oh, know mine is unblocked, so please forgive the the curling. The beauty of room is that you um, don't have to block it. <laughs> I know that's true. <laughs> so as you can see, I've used my pink. favorite pink, and I've popped it with a nice kind of um, bright blue. They actually work really well together, don't they? they? The they turquoise and the cerise works yeah, really well. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Um, and I'm not I'm not the fastest knitter, and this took me no time at all. So I'm really happy with it, and it's kind of cute, and it sits actually looks quite nice. You look really nice on the picture that you yeah. took of it. Yeah, yeah it me, did. And I could, it kind of, if you kind of jiggle it around a bit, I mean, as I said, it's unblocked. Oh, but, but actually, it kinda, I think it's sitting quite well. Yeah, yeah, I think if I just curl it up down at the back. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of, you know, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. And it'd be nice with like a denim jacket or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I always yeah. find cows handy when you're sitting working at the desk. Yeah, true. You get cold and you don't yeah. even realise you've got cold. So yeah, so mine is quite a bit narrower i did i say i took 30 stitches off the you did stitch take a good few all right yeah so i actually made quite a few changes because i'd knitted the other two so i kind of knew what would work better for that's you can see the difference in size there yeah so i've actually done is it eight repeats of the color yeah. work and i think i did nine and a half i was just going to say it looks longer as well yeah yeah i'm um, maybe i did it or i ended up pulling it down because i'd realized i'd done one extra row of navy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've done eight and a half. The other oh, okay. one was nine and a half. Okay. So I just wanted, for me, I wanted them to be... <laughs> See, I don't have OCD, but sometimes I do wonder. Maybe it's all those people I know that do have it that rubs mm -hmm. off on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I wanted it to start on there and finish on there. Does oh, that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I know it does. Yeah. So, and then the rib, there are ten rows of rib at either side. Um, and I wanted it more like a neck warmer because I suspect it will end up going to my son who works on sites. So, I love the colours. So do you know what I mean? So that he yeah, can... Yeah, yeah. More the back of his neck than anything. Yeah, so he gets so cold when he's bending yeah. over. Yeah. He's a plumber. Oh, sorry. A heating engineer now, they call them, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> <But> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, 
no yeah it's really nice actually that, yeah the, the modifications are good and yeah. and it's it still looks you know like it's still the same is the isn't original it? If yeah you know it's what not mean. yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. not changed too much yeah. so i think i wouldn't mind making another one without maybe decreasing so many stitches okay but still keeping the okay rib. yeah 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 yeah, I really enjoyed it. And yeah. you still have enough time, like Dee said. Yeah, it yeah. was. Oh, there's no amount of, no, no knitting in it really at no, all. not at all. And it makes an ideal gift. Actually, do you know what? Funny enough, I think I'm going to gift my one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mm. yeah, to my sister-in-law. Mm. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I think as well, um, so the yarn is lovely and soft. Uh, unlike other, if you were doing a colour work cardigan, maybe you wouldn't want to use such a smooth merino, but I think you get away with it in a cow. Yeah. And there's, there was a nice range of colours in this as it's well. It's a very good range yeah. of colours. Yeah, some kind of traditional babies, some more kind of vintage looks, aren't there? And yeah. then some really bright yeah. colours. So yeah, so we have, we we actually have picked out the prizes to give away in the in the FO. Yes. But we're not saying because no. it's too cool. And we left it too late, so it's nice to get a secret. Yeah. 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 So we'll draw the winner out of the FO thread on um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, so if you do get time to get one made, yeah. Pop into the Ravelry group and uh, put up your photo. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's our first. That's our, yeah, oh, so that was a ta-da. So that was ta-da. Well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, um, it was uh, Sunshine and Sprinkles, the design featured in the magazine. Sunshine and Sprinkles knit along and the Sunshine and Sprinkles ta-da. Wow, three for one. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. Okay. Um, then I finished my um, my hat. I think I was showing you the start of this. Um, in last episode, my uh, it's just a basic beanie, but I used um, in here uh, my own hand spun kind of candy colours. It looks really nice. Um, and I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, pop it on. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of it's just I love this. I love the band. It's yeah. really nice. And that beanie kind of shape really suits you. It does actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. now that I don't have the fringe, when I had the fringe, it didn't work this way because. You could kind of see, <laughs> see the bit. Now I know you could push it back up, but it just did, it just didn't work. So without, now that I have no fringe again, it, it works so well. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just a pattern that came out of Laura's head. So um, I can't refer you to anywhere. I will probably end up writing it okay. down just because I'll probably write down Kai's version. Oh, okay. And then you will <laughs> just say De Deirdre's, yeah. Deirdre's modifications. Yeah. yeah, I made it a little, yeah. Less slouchy and more finished. Yeah, because yeah. I have another one here for Kai, so then you can see if you compare them, you can oh, yeah. see how. Oh yeah, because you did. Yeah, you so wanted look. to turn up the rib as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So this is one of my tadars, which yeah, as you can see, is, <laughs> yeah, I actually snuck in his bedroom this morning <laughs> to try and get it. Um, I really like this. That's nice. Yeah. This yeah. is so. This is two strands of sock yarn. So I actually oh, right. bought this when I was in. Thirsk, two years ago now, isn't it? I think mm. so. It's a Woolcraft yarn, it's their super wash sock yarn, mm, but nice. it's to a four ply. Um, I think I actually bought it for kind of cuffs and heels. Yeah, yeah. Um, does it have a shade? No, it's just shade number 44. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, so I just took a strand from the center and a strand from the outside and just did the, the thing that I did before. So it was 24 rows of two by two rib. And then I think I knit till it's 25 centimetres and then I start the crown shaping. And so. you can, so you knit the rib a bit longer so you can turn it up? Yeah, yeah. so he, now he's stopped wearing it turned up so much. Oh, okay. Look, you can tell he's like, uh, yeah, yeah. completely stretched it to, so, so you can see it's quite a quite bit. slouchy, yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I quite like them. Yeah. We might nice. have an argument between, yeah. between us about them. <laughs> so I keep saying to him, what colour do you want? And he's like, I don't care, whatever. Um, and then the other tada. So there's a blog post, isn't there? Yeah. So by the time by yeah. the time this is done, the blog post is out, and yeah. So this actually, I'm really oh, pleased I with love these. It. Yeah, they're so, so I kind cute. of give you a, give you a little sneaky shot of a Christmas tree before. So really cute. We had to review um, the Blacker Yarns brushwork for the magazine, and as I go to great pains to explain in in the blog post that knitting, I'm finding my knitting time really precious for you. Yeah. Um, and we're always reviewing yarns and we review yarns for the magazine and for the blog and sometimes it just feels like an incredible waste to spend time knitting a swatch. I know, you want to do something with yeah. it. Yeah, so I went looking for Christmas decorations because we got sent this lovely green, which I can't pronounce, 
<laughs> I know, when I was reading the blog this morning, I was like, what is C something? C yeah. Oh, I can't remember. It's a painting technique, right, isn't yeah. it? Isn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. It's like a crackle. Yeah, a crackle. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'll write it down here. But um, I was like, Christmas, it looks like Christmas. And we do a secret Santa in our knitting group. Oh. This may end up being the secret Santa. That's perfect. Sorry, whoever gets it. Because um, now you've seen it. But um, I was like, oh, yeah, something Christmassy. I had a look at Christmas tree decorations on Ravelry. Didn't see anything that was like, knit me. Um, and we only had a little bit of the yarn, I think we had like 25 grams. Um, so I sat down with some needles and was playing with um, increasing to try and get trees. And just, yeah, that is successful. Yeah, I have seen something like this somewhere, and that's what it was in my head. Mm. I'd seen something like this somewhere, and I couldn't find it for the life yeah. of me. Did you glue the buttons onto the pegs? Yeah, so, look, cute. so they that's actually brilliant. hang off. So the buttons are actually, look, they're decorated ah. on the back. Oh, yeah, oh, that's so, really clever. Because I thought they looked a bit more rustic that way around. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. it's a lovely yarn. It is actually. Yeah. And the garter stitch just works really yeah. well with it, doesn't it? It's really cute. So yeah, no. And I'm the really little loving. yellow bits. Um, yeah. They look like um lights, fairy tree lights. They do, don't they? I did toy with decorating them with some embroidery or maybe blanket stitching round them, but I was like I actually really I like, like them looking yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, they are very nice. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. So that's my other to do. Get me. Yeah. Christmas. Gift Christmas already. Well, we... And I've already sorted my secret Santa. Because I'm mean, always a mad panic at the end. that's a last minute thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Usually. Are we, but we're having our Christmas get together on, is it the 22nd? So yeah, it's actually quite. Yeah. Yeah. So it's right up to the yeah. wire, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah. you always get, there's always one or two of us that are like, oh my God, I haven't made anything. And then they're like, can we buy something? We're like, no. 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 No, it's no. always a handmade decoration. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's one for the tree or one to to hang to suspend somewhere else, but it always has to be a yeah. handmade decoration. Yeah. So um, it's nice actually. Yeah, I like it. I have a whole little collection going on. I know. Here. So do yeah. I have them all in my tree. It's really <laughs> cute actually. And then last year I got a I got a lovely bag from Carol in Christmas oh, yeah. fabric. She's like, you can put Christmas decorations in it. I was like. <laughs> but actually, even though it's Christmassy, I use it all. I use it all yeah. the time because it just is really pretty fabric. Yeah, my one last year was a a peg star off of Michelle. Oh, I think cool! I, yeah. Actually, I remember yeah, that. That's so really nice. I have a I have a whole I have a little bag with n balls of knitting in it. I have the Christmas wreath ring from oh, Edwina. Yeah. You've got one of those, haven't you? From yeah, Dr. Top. yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, there's loads of them yeah. now actually, and I I have more in a separate. So tin. do I? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The only thing is I didn't label them, and I'm just worried that I'll forget. I don't think I will, but just that I'll forget yeah, who they were yeah. off of. So yeah. yeah, yeah, no, very cool. Cool. We we recommend that if oh, you have a knitting group, nice do a secret center for a Christmas tree decoration. There's not much work in it, and it's just so yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so that's our tadars. I suppose we should do two things from the Olena. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like tiresome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's. Will I. Oh, you go first. No, right? you, go, okay. you go first. We'll, so, we'll switch the notes so oh, that we can see. <laughs> so these are amazing. Oh, they um, are. So they're from a, a crafter called, well, I'm going to say badly made books. Um, and who's the. Sean O'Sullivan. Mm. Yeah. So he has made these. Um, well, he has a, sl he has a collection of notebooks that he's made and these are his Kieran Foley collection so Kieran Foley is an Irish knitwear designer who has a big emphasis on colour and texture and you might see him a lot in um, Rosemary in the Constant Knitter um, she would be a big uh, advocate yeah, of definitely. Kieran's I think she um, has a trunk show of actually, his on that's Tuesday, coming up, that she? is true actually yeah um, and so he has used so he's collaborated Sean has collaborated with Kieran um, to create these wonderful covers that you can see are um, actual stitch work designs from Kieran's. Um, I think you said this is one of the Weaver's Corners one, or oh, Weaver's right. Squares, isn't it? Does it say on the uh, inside what? Inspired by the traditional craft of hand weaving, named after the historical textile district. Yeah, yeah Weaver's Square. Weaver Squares, Sorry, yeah. yeah. So that's Weaver's Square. And let's see what this So it's just frangipan, frangipani. And that's a lace work. And then this little guy is high seas and it's inspired by Japanese textiles. And you can totally see that. Mm. Um, and each each of these three has a different uh, ruling, let's say ruling inside. So this is uh, lined. The other one is bullet 
journal so you can see I think I don't know maybe not actually it's probably not it's, it's kind of blowing bright, out isn't, isn't it, it? Yeah. yeah anyway that's bullet journal journal and then it's this one is just plain um like a sketchbook is sketch it sketchbook paper I think, I think isn't it? maybe it is actually yeah it is yeah, yeah. it is yeah. isn't it so really really good quality and you can see they're nicely bound they're actually that's something I'd love to do yeah um I think he does workshops does he? I might be wrong but I think that's he does. really cool um and he these now <laughs> <laughs> yeah you do, don't you, Sean? Sean, can um, we come up? Yeah. <laughs> and you can get them on his website. And also, Rosemary the Constantinator stocks these, as far as I know. She doesn't, yeah, she? she yeah, she um, actually, Rosemary, um, I think she commissioned them. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah Rosemary com commissioned them. Um, yeah, yeah, she's com com uh, commissioned a range of Kieran Fulling books. And I'm pretty sure that she's commissioning another another set of books. Yeah. Or another, definitely another another cover. Um to have in the shop oh cool yeah I, I think they're really cool they're really cool yeah they're they really are. cool and i mean th these are just the kieran foley ones but even even his other his other bits and bobs on the website we would i would definitely recommend them yeah. they're really really just different and um you know it's so it's so it's so nice i mean look i'm a big fan of stationery and notebooks anyway but like yeah. this is really good quality yeah. you can absolutely feel and it i mean they're like they're they're serious they're books, proper. aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. have a have a good amount. And I actually like the fact that they have this. I love that jacket. Little, yeah, yeah, so you could tuck notes in and stuff yeah. or receipts or whatever. And I love this as well. Like the you know the tape, it just looks very authentic. Yeah, and yeah, really, really nice, really good job. And that's um, he's he's on Instagram actually, Kieran he Foley, is. K I E or A N yeah. Foley. Yeah, yeah, well worth a look. Definitely, yeah, without a doubt. I'm sitting here and I can smell, smell these. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is gorgeous. So the other, the other, um, oops, I have to find the notes. The other Olin and Loves product that we wanted to feature was from the Moha, Moha Soap Company. Um, Moher. Yeah. Moha. 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 Moher. Moher. Yeah. Moher. I, I, I guess they're from. I can't say that. Is she Moher. over by the. Moher? So she's over she by the Cliffs of Moher. Yeah. yeah. But that sounds like. Moher. You kind of don't pronounce the H. Moher. Moher. Cliffs sounds, of Moher. But it sounds like I just said Lawn Mower. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, <laughs> the Lawn Moor Soap Company. No, the Moor Soap Company. <laughs> is that what they called them? The Cliffs, Cliffs of Moor. Okay. The H is kind of there, but it's not as you know pronounced. Going off uh, on a complete anyway, tangent, sorry. I saw something about Irish names the other day, and it was uh, Siobhan, Neve. Siobhan and Neve, so Siobhan, how do you spell that? It's it's a comedian, it's an English oh, comedian, okay. and he's like, so it's S I O V, and she's like, no, it's B H. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then he meets Neve, and he says, so I know you spell your name N I A B H, and she's like, no, it's not B H. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? The spelling, so yeah. Weird. And they're oh, they're pretty. Like I used to know a girl in college, and her name was Fuel Tirana. What? Yeah. And that actually translates to, because I was like, what a crazy name. It translates to Blood Lord. What? Because Fuel or Fuel is blood and Tirna is Lord. Anyway, Fuel Tirna. And a, a friend of mine in school, because I went to an all Irish school, his name was, his, his English name is Derek. And the Irish for Derek is Far Durica, which is Dark Man. I know, weird. Anyway, Irish lesson over. <laughs> Far Durica. That was his name. Mad. I barely speak English. You imagine the fun I have trying to speak Irish. <laughs> <laughs> or someone will say, I live on a Sanso Sanso road. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Okay, can you spell it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just pop that into Google. And people. ah. Irish people say ah. They don't say a. They say ah. Ah. Yeah. So then I'm like, so it's, I don't know, my name, L O R A. And they're like, A? <laughs> ah. Yeah. yeah, I used to I used to work for the Citizen Information, and the tax office phone, you have to speak uh, the the answering service. You have to speak to it. You have oh, to tell yeah. it, and it would never recognise my <laughs> accent. So I'd put on an Irish accent. Oh, I'd like to <laughs> and it would that. work. <laughs> Back to the mo more. Yeah, that's it. Back so to that. <laughs> yeah. So this is their card, um, and it's Raquel. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting here. Mm. And I can smell this wafting up. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. So, um, so originally from <laughs> Galicia, Galicia in Spain, <laughs> in Spain. But um, Raquel Leon lives in County Clare with her family. So she's the creator behind the, yeah, the Moore Soap <laughs> Company. So she must live close to the Cliffs of Moore, I guess. I say yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
so she makes this beautiful handmade soap which she um, creates by hand in her kitchen I really wish this was smell of vision because oh, they're no, really lovely they're aren't really they lovely. one of the really lovely things about it is they're wrapped in material I love that so then you could use the material for something else oh so. and I would smell you could yeah, yeah it would smell really nice I've got I mean I love handmade oh. soap but I, to be fair I have a collection of it in my knickers drawer yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have it as well so so this one is actually lavender and oatmeal and this one is chai tea and honey mm. and this is gorgeous it's a real lovely spicy one mm. um, so they're a blend of essential oils and um, uh, let me just see uh, they're all natural products so they have minimal impact on the environment that's that's big for Raquel um, they are SLS free parabens free and they contain uh, no other harmful com chemicals while meeting strict EU cosmetic standards and they are quite strict I have to be honest and say they oh, are really yeah. strict the other thing that Raquel makes is um, little lip balms Oh. And I didn't open this because I was like, no, I don't want to open them until. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of citrusy. Oh yeah, nice. Really, really what nice. Kind of a, it? There's something at the end of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. So Raquel is on um, Facebook and um, Instagram, and you can buy their products, buy her products from her website. Mm. Um, mm. Definitely check her out. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are fab, aren't they? Yeah, really nice. Yeah. I'm a sucker for handmade soap. Oh, know. big time. Even, even the stuff that we made. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's grapefruit. Grapefruit lip balm helps oh, if you read yeah. the... Yeah. yeah. But I just love this <laughs> idea of putting fabric around them. It's I think really it nice. is really cool. And yeah. they're all batched, aren't they? I think they're, they... Are they batched? Oh, right. Think, yeah, batch oh, batch number. Oh, batch number. Okay, cool. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I, I really, really, really like really cool. it. Yeah. Love, yeah. So they can be reused and repurposed into yeah, something yeah. else, the material. Wicked. Yeah, very cool. So that's two. So we've done four of the different products now from oh, the yeah. Orland and Loves, haven't we? Hmm. So we have two more, I think. Did yeah, I think there's six, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, it's usually around it six, is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Hmm. And actually, we've already had some nice bits come in for the. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's I great. am Laura, one half of the Orland and Duo. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you do know anybody who makes little bits and bobs, be sure to. Um, would just even drop us a comment or something and let us yeah. know because we're always looking for like we really want to try and source Irish stuff but yeah. it, it, I mean we have kind of gone further afield into the UK yeah. and stuff but um, if you know anybody who makes anything crafty at all yeah. um, we'd love to hear about them and unusual it doesn't have to be kind of knitting and craft related no, does no, it not at all. you know I think like we've had a sorry we've had um we had a, a wallet, didn't we, that was made out of... Oh, yeah. Um, Tires. Yeah, tire yeah. inner tubes and stuff yeah. like that. I think for us, and I'm sure most of you are the same, just that whole idea that someone's created it. Yes, yeah. that's true. That's what the section's are about more than anything, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that is our all and then love. Mm. So, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, dun, dun, dun. We, so the other knit along is our knocker along that we just touched on a little while ago. And we... The idea was that we would draw people from our FOs or our chatter thread. And to be fair, we've just had so many things going on, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, the storm. Stormophilia. Oh, God. Stormophilia was a bit of a bitch, to be fair. <laughs> God, it was a pain in the... I was going to say, it was a pain in the ass. And it was really... But it was really scary. Like, it was oh. really genuinely scary. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah, it was really... And, like, you, had, you were hit really badly. Yeah, we lost a, a roof. We lost three trees. Um, we lost a couple of fences, roof mm. tiles. And your power. And, and your water. power. And actually, my power would have been off for a week if Con, Con was in the UK, my husband was in the UK, and he came home, it was on Monday, wasn't it? And he came home on the Wednesday, and he was able to run um, run us power down from the farm because the farm had power. Uh, okay. But, yeah, teenagers don't work very well without power. Good Lord. No. No, they really don't. No, we were going to come to blows if it carried on for much oh, longer. I say so. <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> they're like, what can I? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they're very yeah folk dependent on oh, yeah, yeah technology, and that's obviously powered by yeah. Because I was like, stop using your phone. We haven't got the power to mm. you know to charge mm. it. So I had to have the car running so that we could charge the phone. Mm. Yeah. So I'm like, no. And going out, so I took him out with the charger so that maybe we could eat somewhere and charge the phone. Oh yeah. And he's like, why have we got the charger? Because if we don't have the charger, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> to make sure that you stay alive yeah <laughs> oh god and all the no, fridge no. i lost so much it food yeah yeah i had to get rid of so much food Shit. yeah sugar yeah so yeah power to people that that deal with that mm. and 
it's just so frightening watching yeah, watching yeah. our roof going up and down oh, was, that was and knowing that I could, I'd gone out I'd seen one of the fences had fallen out so I've got back fences here so where I live on the farm we have like a an area that's fenced off that's kind of our, our garden I suppose um, so I'd seen one fence go, go down and we've got solar panels so I was like if the wind catches that oh, yeah. and it crashes into the solar panels that's an expense that you don't want to yeah, deal with yeah. so I went out and I was trying to tie the fence up so I was and this wasn't even before it had got fully fledged and I'm out in it and I'm being blown all over the place and I got the fence tied up in a couple of places it was okay as I walked away it just lifted again and no. I was like that's it oh my gosh that's it so then I was trying to pull it out of the ground but the post that it was stuck on was just too heavy so I'm like hopefully that'll keep it down it won't go hitting the the um, panel. Scary. So. I mean, the power of it was unreal. It was unreal. Yeah. 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 Wow. So that's that kind of knocked that definitely knocked me out for a, a good two weeks. Yeah. Really, didn't it? I it suppose. Did. Yeah. Just trying to get everything sorted, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. yeah. And then we had the knocker luck. So, so yeah, yeah. yeah, we well, organised an event with <laughs> no power. Oh yeah. I did the how. <laughs> yeah. In fairness, actually, when you think about it. Yeah. No. <laughs> crazy <laughs> running in well, just as well, when you have no power it's quite difficult I know, yeah. <laughs> just as well the event wasn't that wednesday so, it, we, it wouldn't have had to, we yeah. wouldn't have been able to do it we'd have had to have cancelled no, it without a doubt it. so um but yeah no i think everything is kind of fixed what about yours yeah we had the roof or we lost tiles and everything like that um and um <clears throat> we were out without power but just for a short while nothing like you <clears throat> and then we we just got the t like luckily we had a roof tiler living in the estate because oh, it was okay. uh, 30 houses like out of the 100 30 houses lost tiles like wow. and we we thought we were bad but actually there was a lot worse than us so that the guy the roofer just came around he, then the very next day he went around and did an assessment on everybody uh, well as many as he could get to okay. and then he came back the next day down to us because we we're a bit further down and then by so by Thursday evening just when we were facing on Brian because then all the, it was raining and we were like <laughs> but we have no yeah. roof tiles and we could see water coming you know into the attic we we're like oh my god so then he came on Thursday and he was up on the roof and like we have a three-story house and I was like how do you do that job because it was windy it was rainy like it must have been so I don't was know was he tied like, on or not no nah. no because Con always says if he ties himself on he's more likely to, nah. to slip no yeah. he had a, like a, a ladder that hooked onto the ridge tiles yeah. anyway so he fixed it just in time Batten down the hatches then for Storm Brian, which actually wasn't too bad. It was just really bad, uh, just raining. So, like, much yeah, rain. raining so much rain. Actually, it's really bright today. That's our Irish weather report. It's very yeah. bright and sunny today. But we have had so much yeah, rain, yeah. like a ridiculous yeah, amount of it's rain. Been bad. Yeah, um, the cows. Actually, you can see that the cows in the fields outside. I live on a dairy farm, and you can see where the cows have been. It's very muddy. Oh, it's very like just not very nice. Mm. So, um, and I don't need any excuse to go falling off over. It. It unusually mm, mm. <laughs> nothing nicer go out walking the dogs and you come back covered in cow cow muck yeah no. <laughs> did you pick sorry yes so um we uh so just to explain so on the knocker knock, knocker along group in um ravelry we just have put in a random number generator And so, congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, we we'll will get a price be. Off. We will be getting on to you, and um, yeah, yep, we're well going done. Digging in the big hamper of goodies. That, yeah, yeah, random bits. Yeah, so we'll send yeah. you a care package. Yes, <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'm glad now that we didn't have to do that again. Yeah. You know, we and then again and again and again yeah, and, and again. And again. Oh, yeah, no, that's us. No, that's tedious. <laughs> no, that's Laura. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, I wasn't going to write in it in that forum, and then I'd seen you'd written on it, and I was like, oh, well, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's done it. Doesn't matter. Let's go for it. Yeah. Um, so, so, what will we do next? We, we're a bit disjointed, actually. You can tell we. Um, it's, yeah, we you know what it is? Like the clocks have just gone back. God. Because, yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize. I actually. I, 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 never I had visions know. of you coming here oh, really God. early. I know. Well, actually, that wouldn't be outside character, to be honest. My whole family texts me always really? the day before okay. going. <laughs> Clocksty because I'm notorious, yeah. Um, but yeah, Glenn was up super early this morning because he's brewing, and so I heard him downstairs. And then I kind of looked at my phone, and I thought, he's an awful agent now. He's after getting up at six o'clock instead of seven o'clock because I thought, you know, he he had forgotten the time. 
or that it had gone back because we hadn't spoken about it at all and we hadn't planned it. And so I, I went down to him and I was like, you know, it's only blah, blah, blah. And he's like, is it? He had like, he had not known at all what time it was. But our phones Your automatically, phones automatically go back. Yeah. yeah. So actually, yeah. I yeah. think in, he thought he was an hour late. Anyway, yeah, so it worked out. So anyway, I was up early and then I, and then I just realised then because I went on to Twitter I was doing something and I went, oh, the box. <laughs> and then I was going to text you and I went, no, she'd totally know. It's, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah, I'm the only one who doesn't remember no, this I, kind I, of thing. Yeah. The one that catches me is when they go forward. Oh, okay. I think for some reason. The one when they go back, I seem to always get, because yeah. it's always around Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, so, it is. Um, but when they go forward, that yeah. usually, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so uh, yeah, so we had to have it. We, oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we've yeah. actually got quite a few of them, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, So, um, um, I, I um, oh Lord, I have picked up this um, wonderful book called Knitting from the North, and um, it's by Hilary Grant, and I I just picked this up in um a bookshop in a local shopping centre. Um, when I saw it, I just went through, clicked through all the patterns, and it's all inspired by Fair Isle and kind of Scandinavian knitwear. Yeah. Um, Laura already has a copy of it and actually when I put it up on my Instagram people were like oh I love this book it's my favourite mm. book so it's obviously a very very popular one but I hadn't actually heard of it um, that's one of my favourite designs isn't that lovely yeah. the barley hat so it's the, the designs are I think I was going to start with something really simple um, let's go back it's kind of a mixture of accessories isn't it is there yeah. one, one jumper in it I think at there's the back there's a couple of jumpers at the back maybe two I'm going to start with these arrow cuffs oh they're nice because I just think they're simple but also they've got you know so there's a little bit of detail here and mm. I like the idea of the cuffs mm. I've never even because you know the way sometimes you have the boot cuffs yeah so I've never thought of doing like oh, arm cuffs okay. so I hadn't even thought of that but yeah there's a few um, I think there's two jumpers oh there's yeah there's jumper and then there's the Mm. Oh, the Loki yeah. jumper. Yeah, okay. I love this girl's red hair. It's amazing, it's isn't, isn't it? it? Absolutely stunning. Um, and the the other photographs are really cool. And then this is the Icelandic jumper. Yeah, the whole really, aesthetic really is really, really nice. Really good, I love it. It. Yeah. it. Um, and there's I think yeah, so thirty designs in there. I picked this up for a song, to be honest. In in the in the works, I think it could have been only maybe three quid. I don't yeah. even know how it could be that cheap, but it was <clears throat> really lovely. And there's definitely, I mean, there's. You could practically knit everything in there, to be honest. There's yeah. nothing really that I wouldn't knit and look at. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah, like you said, I wonder why it was so I don't cheap. Because it's a new book. I think that was Is published it? this year. No way. I honestly, I couldn't believe it. Was I just kind of went, yoink, I have to buy this. Does it say on it? I, I have, I'm sure it's this year. Um, Twenty sixteen. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah. just last year. Yeah. Maybe Weird. they just printed too many or something. Bizarre, yeah, very, very cheap. Yeah, 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 really nice book. Looking forward to getting stuck into that one. Yeah, um, what, uh, so I'm just trying to think. Oh, so if I do this, we had to have it because the other ones are all kind of related. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So I have the um, new issue of Lane Magazine. Is it Lane? Lane, yeah, yeah I think yeah. it's Lane. Um, actually, to be fair, I haven't really had a great look through it. Um, <laughs> no surprises there. I do oh, really, nice. really like this which is the fallen leaf show oh, lovely. it's really really nice i don't know if you can see it there's a great detail um oh, yeah. here. i'm assuming it's like a slip stitch oh yeah it's really nice yeah i haven't i haven't had a proper chance to look at it and then there's the one jumper that i think i've seen an awful lot over over instagram so i suspect quite a lot of people are going to be making it it's the traster 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 yeah might be saying that wrong mm. Oh, that's, that's really pretty. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I've seen a few people have cast it on. Um, who actually designed that one? Let me see. This is this feels a little different to their last issues. The paper feels a little oh, different. Oh, so it's by Jennifer Stein Steingas, and it says, "Shield me from sadness and harm, from the stormy sea and bitter cold northern winds." Hmm. From shadows lingering around corners, unattended, hidden, keep me warm and safe like Jennifer Steinglass Traster, which is the Icelandic word for trust. Mm, oh, nice. very cool. Mm. Yeah, very cool. So that, as usual, there's some really lovely knitting patterns in there. Um, there's a few recipes. Um, there's a couple of 
gorgeous top patterns. Uh, there's um, a few accessory patterns in there that are actually really, really nice. Again, mitts, like you were saying. Yeah. And there was, I did notice there was an article that I really, really wanted to read, which I should have about. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I wonder how to pronounce that, yeah. Which I'd really like to. From the Outer Hebrides in Northwest Scotland. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, very good. Yeah, good. So I got it from, actually my son ordered it from This Is Knit For Me. Oh, cool. We keep him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> actually, while he was there, because he, he, he goes to a barber's near This Is Knit, so he often sends me a message and says, do you need anything, Mum? Oh, cute. Really good, isn't it? Yeah. So, usually it's Knit Pro Cables. I don't know, I get through a lot of Knit, oh, knit Pro Cables. Do. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Um... But he saw this, Aww. which is a little townhouse yarns mini, and apparently said, what do people make with them? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so it's a really nice colour. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. It's called... Da, 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 da. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, mustard seeds. Oh, very appropriate, yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah. So. It's like gold. It's like spun gold. It is, it's isn't lovely. it? It's lovely. It's a single. So, yeah, yeah nice. very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then we had, um, as we were mentioning, we had our um, our knocker along event last Wednesday in the Mad Monk in Middleton, and we had a goodie bag for everybody. Well, we had twenty goodie bags that we had made up, yeah. and um, in there we had loads and loads of like dinky little things, nice mm. little stuff. And so um, we wanted to show you some of the stuff. So first of all, we have this beautiful skein from. Irish fairy tale yarns, Gabriella and Carlo. And this was dyed exclusively for the event and it's called Pink Ribbon because we were obviously raising the money for um, Breast Cancer Ireland. Um, and it, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month yeah. this month in October. Yeah. So it fit in with our Knitted Knockers campaign, which is great. So it's uh, really, really pretty. It looks like raspberry ripple ice cream. It does, doesn't yeah. it? It's really lovely. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think everybody was... pink speckles in there. Uh, right? yeah, yeah, I think everybody was, lo was loving that. Um, and then we also had, um, I'm going to show my little minis. So we had two minis went into each little bag. So my first one was from um, uh, The Moon and Sixpence. And that's uh, Annie, isn't it? Annie Brazier? Yeah. Um, down in West Cork. And so this beautiful, look at that, how vibrant that blue colour is. And then my second little mini was from Green Elephant Yarns. Naturally this neon pink called pink pink <laughs> if you're going to fill the bag you can be a little bit yeah <laughs> juicy yeah. about what you have what colors you get <laughs> so naturally this <laughs> had my name all over it and then we had you had two separate oh, yeah so colors. i had two different oh, ones lovely, so yeah. this was my moon and sixpence one oh, so they're both nice. um superwash merino and um 25 percent um nylon <laughs> yeah so this is my Moon and Sixpence one, which is actually blowing out a little bit. It's yeah, not, it's not that. Um, no, it's not that bright. It's is a bit it? greener than that, isn't yeah, it? A bit yeah. more turquoise. Yeah. We're sitting in the office, which is great for light, but today it has too much light. And this is my little one from Green yeah, Elephant. Actually, if I put them together, they kind of they work do look well. well together, don't yeah. they? I have a hank this oh, colour. Do you? So I was thinking. Yeah. That was my thinking behind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Very cool. They're really nice. Yeah. I'm, pick, I'm building up quite a collection of minis now oh, at this yeah. stage, Maybe which is nice. Maybe have to do a cosy memories blanket or something. Yeah. So, um, and we had loads of other bits and bobs. So let me think. Let me see. I'm going to show you the stuff from Trish. We featured Trish before on uh, All and Anne Loves. Um, her soaps or her uh, hand cream. Hand cream. Hand cream. Yeah. Um, so she made us. Um, so she gave us. Sorry, uh, a little lip balm. And all Trish's stuff is natural. Um, and this is uh, the honey products, aren't yeah. they? All of them. Yeah. yeah, it's a lip balm, but it can also be used as a balm on like dry oh, skin. Cool. Um, and then she made this amazing. I think this is so cool. Oh, yeah. It's like a rolled beeswax candle, and yeah. if you can see there, see the how cool is that? Yeah, they are gorgeous. Oh my goodness! And they're supposed to help. So beautiful. And you burn them with like uh, hay fever. People that have hay fever no and way. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So that was really, really cool. Um, um, we also had these... Um, oh, yeah. There was loads. Oh, my gosh. Fair, oh, yeah, was, there we go. There was from, loads. From, uh, I'm going to forget, Knit, knit hook, it. Knitted, Hook It, Craft It. Craft It. Um, and it's it's Faye from the Crochet Circle Crochet Podcast, Circle podcast yeah. makes these little things. So the this little one is um, a Kitchener's, um, you know, Kitchener stitch, and you'd be trying to remember it in your head, and you'd be like, oh, no. And this is just a handy little um, thing just to keep around. 
carved into wood. It's great, isn't the it? The instructions for a Kitchener stitch. Yeah. So really, really dinky and really, really cool. So you either got one of those in your bag or you got um, a needle gauge. Brilliant. Depending on, you kind of had a bit of, a few of each. Yeah. So, yeah. Really cool. Really cool. Just so, nice and handy to have. Yeah. I really like them, I have to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Faith. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and then we also had in each <laughs> Jing something jingling yeah, anyway know, something. <laughs> in each pack as well we put in um two little two little balls of style craft classic dk classic dk there's <laughs> errol <Just came. laughs> hi errol <laughs> you're so cute aren't you oh. if you want to say hello hello boy hello hello hello, hello. 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 oh my god <laughs> Oh, you smell doggy. <laughs> he smells like a dog. I suppose he is, but yeah. You gonna go? Hello. No, you're gonna stay. Sorry, I might just keep him for a bit while he talks, and then he'll get less. So excited. these, um, each one of these, or uh, sorry, two of these balls would be enough to knit a pair of knockers. So that's why we put them in, and because of us, obviously they're cotton DK, and cotton is the preferred fabric for the knockers. Yep. So there we go. And then we also had these cool postcards. From... You always get bent. Yeah, I did. Stop. Slightly bent. Look at this, it's so cool. Let's knit Christmas sweaters together. Really, really nice. I forget who made this, sorry. Julia. Julia. Oh. Julia. I'll put the name here. Yeah. Oh, uh, a, a little drawing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? He has such stinky breasts. Um So, yeah, these are really nice. So, everyone got one of those, and there's a little envelope for that as well. So, they're nice little kind of little notes for Christmas. And then we had these. Um, Pencils, and they, they are, came out really well. Really nice. Yeah, I was so, so they're, impressed with uh, them. Let me see. I'm gonna try. It. Yeah, shush. I'm counting. So they're really cool. Love those, and everyone got two of those. I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, everyone got two of those as well. So they're they're really oh, handy. And then the jingle bells is. Oh no no, hang on. Magic Sheep Creations then did us these little um progress keepers. We yeah. featured them. Actually, yeah, they were in all in There we go. And that was from, as I said, Magic Sheep Creations. We featured her before in our All in Loves uh, little progress keeper. Um, and then we had... The jingle. <laughs> the <Sorry>. jingle bell. <laughs> and one of these, uh, like a Christmas bauble that you can fill yourself with anything, really. But chocolate teddy bears in Christmas chocolate jumpers teddy bears. are always a, a good thing. Lint. Little lint fellow with a chocolate, with an actual Christmas jumper. You have to have so chocolate, don't cute. you? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that is jingly and cute. And then some, uh, yeah, obligatory tea bags. bags. And there was a badge, wasn't there? I think. There was a badge. Well. Oh, sugar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, winner. Here. Oh, yeah. There's my badge. All in hand. And I love the matte finish on yeah. it. It's really, really good. Cool. Yeah, it's really nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, it was quite quite the goodie bag totally yeah Every, people people kept coming up and saying oh my god there's so much stuff in the bag <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and one of our friends hadn't opened her bag michelle hadn't opened oh, her bag okay. um at the event she wanted to keep it a surprise and she texted me she was like oh my god there's so much in there <laughs> like, well, we, yeah. we weren't trying to tell you that it was going to yeah. be a goodie goodie bag oh, it's a really <laughs> goodie goodie bag <laughs> so yeah um and then at the event we had um Irish Fairy Tales, uh, Carlo and Gabriella from Irish Fairy Tales, they brought their shop to mm, the event, yeah, didn't they? Brilliant. So, um, and they had so many tempting mm, things. Mm. So, I mean, not like I need any <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, yeah. I don't know how, nice. yeah, oh, look, that's quite a good, a good shot of it. Isn't that Is blue? that midnight just, ink? Yeah, uh, dark ink. Dark yeah, ink. Dark oh, ink. cool. So. Oh, I love it. They are just fab, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so, and I did actually buy another kind of turquoise colour I think it's called Pacific oh, might yeah. be wrong because there's a Vera Valamaki jumper that I've been wanting yeah. to do for quite a while and I just thought if I went and bought the yarn this is the second lot of yarn that I've already bought for it <laughs> yeah because to be fair when we were on our yarn crawl I bought alpaca for it and then got home and was like why did I buy alpaca it's just going to drop right because it's a big oversized jumper I'll write the name of the pattern here mm. um, I'm sure you, a lot of you know it it's got like a, a dark square bib and then it's got stripes oh. and I think it has um, I think the decreases happen on the the corners oh. so it's a big oversized jump and I'm like alpaca it's just gonna drop really oh, okay. really badly yeah, yeah, yeah. so 
um, and one of our friends, Katrina, had made it. That's why I liked it. Katrina was wearing it. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um, and she'd made it in Irish fairy tales yarn. I think she made it in a navy and a grey, actually. I think so. Yeah, with quite similar taste in colours. Yeah. So I was like, can't do navy and grey, so I'll do navy and turquoise. So um, Gabriella was actually dyeing me up two of the two of the Pacific. Oh, cool. And sending them out. So yeah, so that's my whether we had to have it. Yeah. So actually, with the goodie bags and yeah, yeah, quite a lot actually. <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. Lots of new yarn. Yeah, it's cool actually yeah. to have lo lots of new stuff to. And I'm going to. Oh yeah. To Nottingham Yarn what Expo. Is that? So it's not next week. It's the week after. Okay. I'm actually going to Manchester because the Christmas markets are on in Manchester, and the dog. Sorry, just are you keeps back? coming. In. He kind of whiffs. Are you back? I'm going to be honest. He kind of whiffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you back, Mister? I need to wash. <laughs> um, and then, um, so I'm going over to Manchester for the Christmas markets because apparently. The Christmas market in Manchester and in Zagreb, Zagreb, mm. um, are the two have won the awards for the last two years. Ah. So, um, and as much as I would love to go somewhere foreign, I just can't work mm. it out with the dogs and the dogs mm. and the dogs. Mm. The teenage is easy to sort out. It's the dogs. Um, so I'm going to Manchester, and I'm actually going to Manchester in time for the opening, which happens on Friday the. 10th oh, cool. but then the yarn expo is on the 11th and the 12th oh, so i think nice. we might head up to the, oh, the yarn expo on the 11th my ever patient husband <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to that i know bernie from bear and sheep's clothing uh, bernie and derek right. are going yeah 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 cool um so what? Whatever we what? What? um what? and um then the week after that we're there's a few of us actually going up to oh, Dublin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh that's right that's the following week cool. <laughs> so Two oh, potential chances. Oh, we did two potential chances to get more well, yarn. Yeah, the dog is being a rat bag. I think what's probably happened is the teenagers got up and let him out. <laughs> he's trying to move him, and he's doing the whole. He's like, oh, she's playing. He's like laying down and like. <laughs> Are you on the okay. podcast? All right. Okay. You're Seriously. You're a pure rascal. You're a pure rascal. <laughs> he's taking my seat. Maybe it'd be better actually with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apologies for the dog. <laughs> oh, so funny, Mr. The choice of small oh, dogs. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know. So, so, yeah, there's definitely more potential to buy yarn, without a doubt. Oh my god, I know. Yeah. Now, there you go. Go I've on. Tricked you. Go Sod on. off. Go, on. <laughs> go on away. Go on away. Go on away now for a little while. Out. No. I'm trying to train him. Yeah. Do you know when you do the walk bit? Because I've got, well, I had four dogs. So going for a walk, the excitement was awful. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely awful. And I've got one dog who kind of nibbles the others. Like, oh, we're going for a walk, we're going for a walk. Which, of course, he learnt. But okay. he doesn't understand it's just a friendly nibble. He thinks it's like a full-on attack. <laughs> so he, like, kind of bites and hangs on for dear life. And the dog that has three legs, she can't really turn to Aww. get him off of her. But she quite often goes over, which in this weather is not good. Aww. So I'm trying to do the whole, you know, where you, you, they know they're going for a walk, but when they bark, mm. you close the door and you stand in the oh, house and nice. you wait for them to calm down. So then you open the door, you try and get out the door, and when they start barking again, you say no, and you come in and you close the door. It took me 20 minutes to mm. get outside my door the other day. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's unreal. They're so fun. Like, yeah. And it's, like, Toby is the same, and he, he but he just does this high-pitched, yeah until and it's pure excitement and you're just like please just stop but please just just stop just stop and then you know, he's just oh and scruff just goes to the door and stands there and he's like <sighs> you know <laughs> waiting because then we're trying to train toby or to stop him being so excited and scruff's just like seriously i'm here i've been standing here for yeah. so long i'm waiting really patiently yeah, yeah, what yeah. is going on so no it's ridiculous when there's just one dog acting up and all the others then are you know you're like oh come on but yeah, I don't think there's any training I'm really at this no, stage. I can't be. I would love. I think the problem is, you know, because I have because I have three and had four, trying to kind of it, their personalities interact mm. so much that you're like one of them is really hyper, one of them is really quiet. Mm. As they get older, they're like really, yeah, really. Mm. Come on, I take Rose for a walk and she sounds like I don't think you'd ever seen it. It's a kids' program called Ivor the Engine when mm. I was a kid in mm. England, and this steam chain used to make this kind of like chuck 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 oh, right. noise. And um, she sounds like that. She sounds like she's a steam train coming up behind you. Because all you hear is chug, chug, chug. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's so old. <laughs> so, yeah, no. 
I'm trying. I need I need to make him calmer. Yeah. For kind of walking. Oh, I saw this thing, a plug-in thing called Adaptive. Okay. And it calms down a dog. It's like um it's a natural thing, but it must be maybe lavender. I don't know, but it's a plug-in okay. thing and if you plug it in near their beds or in a room where they are, it just calms them oh, right down. Okay. Apparently it's it's meant I think they originally kind of came up with it to calm dogs down when they were going to the vet. Okay. Um, so they're they're just not as afraid or whatever. They're just okay. a bit more mellow. So maybe it might work. Yeah. I was thinking of getting a photo. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have to do something because it mm. is literally like. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I sneak out. I go out of the front door, mm -hmm. really like tiptoe in, and wait. And they, I get out on the track, and then it's you can you can tell you can almost yeah. hear him going. There's someone out there, <laughs> and he comes charging out. <laughs> <laughs> trying to escape from my own house <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm doing this is because I can't introduce another dog until I've calmed him down a yeah, little bit yeah. I'm very tempted there's like six puppies in the Dacia Animal Sanctuary at the oh. moment and they're beautiful there's a, they're all lurcher cross pups oh nice so oh. yeah so it's very difficult when you don't have when you're used to a certain amount of dogs and they yeah. start to yeah. 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 Never mind. So I know. back to the knitting. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sidetracked. Thanks, Errol. <laughs> so our last thing is it'll be lovely oh, when yeah. it's finished. Um so um <clears throat> I cast on these socks a little while ago and I tucked back into them again the other week at knitting. They're my um foxy socks and they're the pattern is from um LB Handknits, who's Albina, who did um uh the sheep to garment project uh, currently in our in our current issue, um, and these are progressing nicely. I'm using um, the Don't Dream It, It's Over colorway from Fine Fish Yarns. It actually looks really nice and it um, doesn't it? It looks lovely. So it's a, it's kind of a, it's just a slip stitch pattern, but in a diagonal. So uh, uh, one, two, three, four row repeat of the slip stitch. So you're moving the slips slipped stitch all along mm. and it can come along the diagonal. Good. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah, yeah. it's knitting up kind of nicely. Um it looks kind of vintage, doesn't it? Actually they're yeah. kind of they're kind of pastel colours, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um but uh, yeah it's a nice uh, mindless little knit and um uh, the only thing I would say is maybe it's me and I'm slow is it seems slow okay. to knit. I don't know why it does. Like you're slipping um you're slipping a stitch every three stitches. So it should technically be quicker, but maybe it's just I know, not the I don't know. Yet. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, maybe that's maybe it. It's just not the rhythm. It just yet. seems very, very slow. As in, I, I, I'd be knitting for ages, and I'm looking. I'm like, God, I haven't, I haven't progressed hardly anything. But in saying that, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and it, I, I do like the way. Um, and you've been knitting Aaron way as well, though. Recently, actually, maybe yeah, that's so probably it. Yeah. I always find if I'm knitting something that's kind of Aaron yeah. way or DK, and then I go on to four ply on yeah. socks. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But I like the way. See the way it's. See that's the in rib, and then when you move on to the slip stitch, then the difference in the yeah. the way the the uh, the fabric looks or the the fiber looks. The way the colors are mixing yeah. around is quite cool. I love the little pops. We both have oh, this, yeah. don't we? Like yeah, this. we do yeah. have that. Yeah, yeah. So these are my foxy socks. So yeah, we'll Very get there. Folks. We'll get there. And then mine. I actually was going to do. I didn't have anything that I could show you, because at the moment I'm monogamously knitting on something for the magazine. Um, and I was like, <laughs> when we were writing the notes, I'm like, I don't have actually anything else I can show you. Like, I've got things that I'm doing, but I haven't actually been knitting them. I'm doing a lot of swatches in between oh, for the yeah, magazine, okay. and I was doing the trees. Um, and the last ta-da that I finished was the hat. So um, so I was like, oh, I'm going to have to cast something on. <laughs> <laughs> Painful. Um, and I watch um, Skane Deer Knits podcast, and... Uh, I caught up on it yesterday, the last episode yesterday, and Ellie was, I think it's Ellie, I may be wrong, I'm really sorry if I'm wrong, but Skane Doing It's, I'm sure most of you know Skane Doing It's by now, um, she had reached her 5,000 subscribers, I oh, think, yeah, yeah. and so as a little thank you, she gave a coupon code on, on screen, um, and I'd been looking at the Selvu mittens, who hasn't, for, for ages and ages, and I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to get it. It's yeah. kind of meant to be. I've seen the discount today. And yeah, so um, let me show you the black and white. This was dogged yesterday. So I <laughs> I got printed the pattern off, put it down to go digging around for wool. And the little sod decided he was going to like walk all over it. So it's mud. So, <laughs> so yeah, so you can see there's this kind of cuff here. So um, uh, they're Norwegian. 
Norwegian inspired um, mittens so this is the cuff here and then this is the section and there's this detail on the, the thumb now I um, I always get really cold kind of lower down on my wrist okay so I wanted them to be a bit longer so I um, I think you only um, there's only two rows of rib on the pattern so actually it would sit so if you forget this it would sit like that so I added a few more rows of okay. rib just to kind of make it higher up mm -hmm. and I'm about to start the thumb portion oh, of the okay. mitt but um, there's two different gauges on the pattern and I didn't do a, a gauge swatch and I'm actually hitting the um, the larger gauge but like I said earlier three things on my on my body that are small and this is probably going to be a bit too wide for me so I'm seriously thinking about pulling it down it was only about an hour's work if I'm honest because I was so into it right maybe yeah. an hour and a half um, I'm thinking of pulling it down and also I've got one float that is quite tight which is the other reason that I'm considering oh, I might okay. pull it down because it's just it's pulling a little bit but yeah I'm really pleased and they're the yarns really nice. Do you remember that I bought those yarns I showed them on the podcast um, I bought two balls of the green and it was the oh, Navia yeah, yeah? I do remember, yeah. The Navia trio so I've lost the ball band for the green it'll be somewhere yeah, so you Lovely. just use yeah, yeah, yeah you just yeah. use two fifty gram balls. Oh, nice. There's a, a Scandinavian knit Selby mittens club at the moment, so um, I think there's four patterns, five patterns, including the Selby mittens, and there's a new pattern released every month, the uh, first of the month. I think there's, I think there's one more pattern released to be to, to happen, but I just got the single, mm. the single one. So yeah, so and actually I'm knitting those throwing my yarn so the traditional oh. way which I've kind of found that if I do a bit of both my hands are, are much more comfortable oh, okay. so the jump oops <laughs> yes. the thing that Spoiler I'm making alert. for the for the magazine I'm doing that with um, Portuguese knitting so mm. it's nice to have something okay, that I'm yeah, doing yeah, yeah. throwing yeah so hmm. yeah I like them I like the look of them I look yeah. forward to seeing them finished yeah. actually I like yeah. the colors you've chosen as yeah. well yeah, I the was Christmassy, but not too Christmassy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was very much of the opinion. Well, do you know what? I'll, I'll give. I'll have them, or I'll give them to someone else. But since I started knitting them, I really like them. Yeah. So I'm like, no, yeah. I actually really want them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So in that case, I will pull them down and start them again. Yeah. So, um, is that it? Huh. Interruptions yeah. aside. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Going off on tangents about dogs. <laughs> Irish names. Yeah. What, what else? is this? Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> Where are we? So we're we're at the end of October. Oh, yeah. We're at the end of October. Mm -hmm. Mental. Um, yeah. Um, it's my birthday next week. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going away for a fancy hotel stay. Um, I'm looking forward to that actually. That would be really cool. Yeah. Do you know where you're going? Yeah, Free Tech House. Oh, you haven't said. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next, All right. Next um, Thursday night. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be nice. Yeah. I look forward to that. It looks it really looks kind of posh, but the deal was very good. And um, yeah, and then after that, we're going to go to Waterford City and look at all the Waterford walls. You know, all the graffiti. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, some of that's oh, really cool. I can't wait to see and that. the gardens and stuff that they have oh. here. Some of it. There's a whole community thing going on over oh. there with with art and gardening and stuff. As far oh, as I'm aware. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking forward to that now next Friday. Um, uh, so that's next week. And then the following week, not the following week, you're going to Manchester. Then the following week, we're doing our knitting thing mm -hmm. so it'll probably be the following week yeah unless we, we can find an podcast. evening to do one maybe yeah. so because mm. we've still got a few things to go through before the next issue comes out haven't yeah, we yeah and that's and that's a couple of issues that's a couple that's maybe two weeks after that okay yeah so, yeah. <laughs> so we might try <laughs> somehow that's, to get an evening one that time of year though when yeah. things kind of start happening and you kind of have things on and yeah. you're like oh my god yeah wow yeah, busy okay. busy so yeah but we'll try even if we get a short one in that'll be fine actually yeah we've yeah. prattled on a bit today <laughs> god yeah we do we have. that's because we haven't seen each other to actually properly talk yeah because we were seeing each other the knock along but we we're so busy we yeah. weren't really chatting okay <laughs> um so yeah so um so yeah so moral of the uh, message still time to enter our uh, sunshine and sprinkles definitely um, knit along um, especially if you do a small one <laughs> yeah end date is next wednesday so get in and get your get your photos in to be uh, eligible for the prize um keep knitting those knockers please that's ongoing so there's no there's no finite date no. really for that is there no. they'll just keep we'll just keep doing it um and uh and wait for the new issue um that's our winter solstice issue yeah. 